are sailing the high seas of life, oppression is a lot like an iceberg. Imagine you're on a ship chugging along when the captain spots an iceberg on the horizon. At first, it looks like it will be easy to navigate, but this is no ordinary iceberg. This is an iceberg of oppression, and it's big. What we can't see is dangerous. The tip of the iceberg is easiest to spot. That's where interpersonal oppression occurs. This is the stuff that happens directly to individuals, such as a mosque being attacked by an Islamophobic group, a woman being catcalled by a man, or a young person of color being followed around by a store clerk. Society teaches us oppressive ideas about different social groups. Over time, our perception of them is altered consciously and unconsciously. We then internalize and act on them on an individual level. These common acts of oppression can cause deep emotional harm and psychological distress. This is the part we can see. Just beneath the surface is institutional oppression. Institutions are systems and structures that influence and govern society, such as healthcare, schools, media, banks, and the legal system. Institutional oppression is rooted and upheld by systematic rules, laws, policies, and practices. This occurs when law enforcement organizations use stop and frisk practices. Schools teach a white upper class biased version of history. Governments pass discriminatory laws against immigrants, transgender, or disadvantaged people. These practices are rooted in long histories of slavery, colonialism, capitalist exploitation, imperialist wars, and gender restrictions. Institutional oppression creates trauma and difficulties for individuals in their daily lives. If we go still deeper, we'll find cultural oppression. Some examples include the assumption that people are poor or depressed because they are lazy and stupid, physical spaces designed only for people who can walk, postal deliveries scheduled around Christian holidays. When oppressive actions and beliefs are considered normal, then institutional oppression is created and maintained as right. This, in turn, feeds interpersonal oppression. It's a vicious cycle. Oppressive beliefs can become so widespread that they are internalized by both those who are targeted by them and those who benefit from them. To navigate around the iceberg, it's vital that people at each level of the ship have a say. The privileged people on the top deck can't see what's beneath the surface. They have to trust the experience and knowledge of those below deck. Our ship is safe and sound only when those most impacted by the oppression iceberg determine how to address its impact. Systems of oppression not only manifest in our jobs and our relationships, but also in our own hearts and minds. In order to dismantle these systems, we have to engage with all levels of the ship to avert the iceberg. We have so much to learn from each other. Let's get free together.